youth of the COVID-19 Hello Top Notchers! Welcome to my YouTube channel. So thank you po sa lahat naman nag-subscribe at saka nagpa-follow and mga nag-aabang po ng ating fearless forecast. So ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon ay tungkol po sa Nursing Practice 5. Ito po ay tungkol sa ating hearing disorder na kung tawagin ay otosclerosis. So let's begin with our situation. You are assigned as a staff nurse at the ear unit of the medical ward of a government hospital. Clarissa is a 25-year-old theater actress was admitted with the chief complaint of on and off ringing of the ear or tinnitus at the right ear. The audiogram confirms conductive hearing loss or mixed loss especially in the low frequencies. Clarissa was diagnosed with otosclerosis. Question number one, otosclerosis is a common cause of what condition? A. Premature labor. B. Meningitis auditory nerve C. Sensory neural hearing loss or letter D. Conduction hearing loss Okay, so if we say otosclerosis Otosclerosis is a rare condition that causes hearing loss Okay, so eliminated po yung ating letter A Premature labor because otosclerosis is not a known cause of premature labor So mali po yun So A is eliminated So if we say otosclerosis That is the condition where there is an abnormal growth of bone Inside your middle ear okay? So in the middle ear Around the stapes Merong tumutubo doon na small bone tissue okay? So yung bone tissue na yon, Yun yung magkukos ng Conduction hearing loss So letter D is the correct answer here Hindi po siya sensory neural hearing loss So pag sinabi kasi nating otosclerosis Sabi ko kanina It is a condition in which There is an abnormal bone growth inside the ear So, it's a fairly common cause of hearing loss in young adults. So, otosclerosis usually causes a conductive hearing loss, a hearing loss caused by a problem in the outer or middle ear. So, aside sa ating otosclerosis na nagkukos ng ating conductive hearing loss, leading causes of conductive hearing loss includes the ceramen impaction, otitis media, or yung ating luga and otosclerosis. Okay, ulitin ko. So, leading causes of conductive hearing loss include ceramen impaction, otitis media, and your otosclerosis. So, here in question number one, otosclerosis is a common cause of conduction hearing loss. Okay? Kasi if we say sensory neural hearing loss, the most common causes here are presbycosis, acoustic neuroma, noise-induced, and infections such as mumps or meningitis. So, pwede rin magkos ang head trauma, Meniere's disease, and mga drug-induced condition like the use of aminoglycoside drugs. And take note that sensory neural hearing loss is hereditary. Okay? So, the correct answer here is letter D, conductive hearing loss. Next, question number two. When an audiogram confirms a sensory neural hearing loss, What is structure of the ear is damaged when this condition is present? A. Outer and or middle ear B. Tympanic membrane C. Cochlear nerve or D. Stapes Okay, so tinatanong po dito is kung ano yung na-damage kapag ang ating uh, audiogram result confirms sensory neural hearing loss Okay, so if we say sensory neural hearing loss, the damaged area of your ear is the inner part of the ear Kasi pag outer and or middle ear it will result to conductive hearing loss. Okay? So, mali yung ating letter A kasi that is the conductive hearing loss. So, if we say tympanic membrane naman, tympanic membrane is located between your uh, outer and your middle ear. Okay? So, nasa outer or middle ear po yan. So, kapag may damage kay tympanic membrane, pwede mag-cause po yan ng conductive hearing loss also. So, also with your letter D, stapes. So, stapes is commonly known as the foot plate or the stirrups of the ear. Okay? So, it is one of the tiny bones called ossicles in the middle ear naman. So, sabi ko nga kanina, pag meron po tayong problem sa middle ear, it will result into, it will result to conductive 
hearing loss. So, if we say sensory hearing loss, sensory neural hearing loss usually happens gradually and affects the both ears. This type of hearing loss is often caused by the decreased function of the cochlea, okay? the part of the inner ear. So, pag sinabi natin inner ear, it includes your cochlea, semicircular canals, cochlear nerve, and your uh, sensory hair cells that processes sounds. Okay? So, inside the cochlea are the bundles of cells covered in a hair-like sensory receptor. So, any damage to this site or to this area of your ear may cause your sensory neural hearing loss okay so the correct answer here is letter c it is the cochlear nerve okay so your cochlear nerve is located in your inner ear and if it is damaged it causes your sensory neural hearing loss next question number three clarissa was given sodium fluoride as a nurse you know that the rationale for giving this to her is a to mature the spongy bone growth B, to remove the disease stapes. C, to prevent further complications. Or D, to restore hearing. Okay, so what is the rationale behind kung bakit binibigyan po natin si Clarissa na may autosclerosis ng sodium fluoride? Okay, so keyword, sodium fluoride drug. Okay, so taking oral sodium fluoride can stabilize the hearing loss associated with autosclerosis in about 80% of patients. So, take note, nurses, that the use of sodium fluoride can mature the spongy bone growth, okay? And prevent the breakdown of your bone tissue. So, yung ating uh, letters, letter B naman, to remove the disease staves, ang tawag natin doon is the stapedectomy naman. So, stapedectomy is the surgical removal of the staves and the insertion of a prosthesis, okay? So, mali po ang ating option letter B. So, the correct answer in your uh, question number 3 is letter A. Your uh, sodium fluoride matures the spongy bone growth and it also prevents the breakdown of bone tissue. Next, question number four. A surgical procedure was recommended for Clarissa. Which of the following surgical procedures is useful in correcting her conditions? So, A. Myringotomy B. Ossicular reconstruction Letter C. Cochlear transplant or Letter D. Stapedectomy So, alin po dito yung i-recommend na surgical procedure para kay Clarissa Ang condition ni Clarissa ay otosclerosis So, what is the surgical procedure to correct your otosclerosis? Okay, so the correct answer here, nurses, is letter D, stapedectomy So, take note, nurses, that a uh, patient with otosclerosis and significant hearing loss are candidates for stapedectomy so, if we say stapedectomy, it is the surgical procedure done to correct autosclerosis. So, if we say myringotomy, myringotomy is the incision of the tympanic membrane. And this is usually done to treat your otitis media. While your cochlear implant is used after acoustic neuroma surgery. But if the cochlear nerve is still intact and functional. But the hearing has been lost due to the damage of the tiny hair cells in the cochlea. So, the correct answer here is letter D. It is your stapedectomy. And last question, number 5. After her surgery, Clarissa was placed on left side with the head of the bed elevated. What is the rationale for placing her in this position? A. To minimize the pressure in the middle ear. B. To prevent complication of bleeding. C. To ensure the patient's safety. Or letter D. To prevent vomiting Okay So What is the rationale Bakit kailangan natin I-place si Clarissa Into left side With the head of the bed Elevated So take note That Clarissa's uh, Stapedectomy Was done at the Right ear Okay So right ear po Yung affected guy Kaya Clarissa So take note In your stapedectomy Always position your patient After stapedectomy Into the unaffected side Okay Unaffected side po yan Okay So the rationale Into this positioning Is to Minimize the pressure In the middle ear So suggest the patient To lie on the Unaffected side So avoid also Undue fatigue Or exposure to colds Or upper respiratory tract infections If 
possible para hindi po siya sipunin at hindi po siya hatching ng hatching okay or is dizzying so it is it is best not to blow your nose kasi for approximately one week so bawal po kasi nga uh, isinga kapag meron kang sipon okay so pag hindi naman mapipigilan na ikaw ay mapabahing or mag sneeze always uh, always sneeze with an open mouth okay so instruct the patient to sneeze with an open mouth kapag di niya maiiwasan po yon okay <music> Oh, 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 oh,